I realized when I was, you know, reflecting back on when I was younger and getting angry that it, it just really didn't accomplish anything and, and you don't get anything out of it um, except more problems. My type of lymphoma, they, they say stress could cause it, environment, and so that was always in the back of my mind too that like, gosh, I, I can't stress out, you know, I, I could have gotten this from stress. And then getting it a second time also was like, man, life's short. I have, I have a wife, I have three kids. My wife put her in perspective. She's like, you could die and leave us. And I'm like, oh, I'm not, I mean, I'm not even thinking that way. I, I'm just thinking, hey, I'm going to be better and, you know, we'll keep going on. And she's going, maybe you should start selling off some bikes and, and selling this and close your shop and do this. And I'm like, that's, you know, that's one thing that's keeping me happy. I, I enjoy riding and racing motorcycles and building motorcycles and you know that's what what's kept me active this time and, and kept my my brain busy i think it helped everybody else feel better that it wasn't really bringing me down and making me depressed because i knew it was curable and so it wasn't uh i wasn't that devastated you know the guy sitting next to me in the chair getting full body radiation with me and he's just He's wrecked. I'd offer advice to, to anybody with any type of cancer or problem that it, your mindset is, is a huge part of it and staying positive, I mean, your, your brain is a strong ass muscle of staying positive is, works wonders over medicine even sometimes, you know? It,